letting people pay for items how they want to pay for them is only going to increase sales. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure one gravity form with multiple payment feeds, specifically PayPal and Stripe. So here in my screen, I just wanted to show you what I mean here. I'm on Code Canyon's website, and you can tell that there are a few different ways to pay for whatever products you have. The first way is to use your credit card, specifically Visa or MasterCard here, or you can use PayPal. So that's what we mean by multiple payment feeds here. Now we're not talking about credits, but let's talk about PayPal or credit cards. So let's close this. So here, this is the form that we've been using all along as a sample. It's selling this uh, art locket. And there's a form at the bottom. And let's go here, and here's that form that we were talking about. And what I want to show you is that I've already configured two different payment feeds, one being PayPal and the second being Stripe. Now, this video is not about setting up those feeds. This video is about using both of them on one form. So you can check out the other videos about setting up a, a PayPal feed or a Stripe feed. It's all very simple, but you want to get the two or three or however many you want to have set up on this one form. And once you have them set up, now we're going to make a few changes to the form to make it so that the person can check out using PayPal or Stripe. And here's how we're going to do that. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the form editor and we're going to add a new section. So here we have your information and then we have your order. And then we have a credit card field, which is required when setting up Stripe. Let's drag in a new section and let's call this payment information. That's a new section, that's all it is. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add a drop down, and that drop down is simply going to be something like um, How would you like to pay for your items? And we're going to have two options here. And the first one is going to be PayPal. The second one is going to be credit card. We're going to get rid of the third choice. We're going to make it required. And then let's go to appearance and for a placeholder. And we've talked about all this stuff before. Let's just go select below. So now the person's going to select, let's just make it actually a small one too. The person's going to select how they want to pay, PayPal or credit card. And that's going to allow us to use conditional logic in a bunch of different ways. So the first way that we're going to use that is when someone is using Stripe, they're going to have to enter their credit card information on your website, on your form here. But not with PayPal, because when, when they choose PayPal, they're going to be redirected to PayPal, and they're going to sign in over there and do the transaction over there. So this credit card field should only appear when someone chooses credit card from this field. And how do we do that? That goes back to conditional logic. And so you just want to make this required. And let's go to advanced and enable conditional logic. So you want to show if, how would you like to pay for your items is what? PayPal? Nope. Credit card. Then this is going to appear and then the person would need to fill this out. But what if they just choose PayPal? This is optional, but what I recommend you do is just be nice. Throw in something like an HTML block here and let's drop this down. And type something like, um, you know, when you click the submit button, you will be directed to PayPal to complete your purchase. You know, just give them a little reassurance that they're doing things correctly. And of course, you want to set conditional logic on this. So enable conditional logic. Uh, you want to show it if how would you like to pay for your items is what? Is credit card? Nope. Is PayPal. So that's how the front end is going to function. Let's hit update form. So I do have to tell you that we that I am not on a secure site here. So on the front end, we are going to see an error on that credit card field. But just bear with me here. So let's scroll down. And take a look. Let's just add uh, one. So we have a total of 20. And then it says, how would you like to pay for your items? And now we can choose between one of the two. Let's choose PayPal. It's going to have our little message here, which is very helpful. And then credit card, which, like I said, we're seeing this because I'm not on a secure site. And the person would have to fill out their credit card information. So that's the front end done, but that's only half of what we have to do here. So with the front end complete, we need to configure the PayPal feed to only kick in when someone chooses PayPal, and then the Stripe feed 
when someone chooses a credit card. So let's follow along. We're almost done here, about halfway done. So with the form complete, you now want to go to form settings and let's start with PayPal. And once again, let's choose edit. We're just going to be adding conditional logic to make this happen. Let's scroll down and we're going to enable conditional logic. So you want to, what this is basically saying is process this feed if what? If how would you like to pay for your items is PayPal. And you want to hit update settings. And now let's do the same thing on Stripe, but this time we're going to choose credit card. So Stripe and edit. Let's scroll down. So conditional logic, process this feed using how would you like to pay for your items is credit card and hit update settings. And then of course we go back to the front. Uh, now I'm not actually going to fill it out. Actually I'll fill out the PayPal side just to show you. Uh, I'm just gonna say test, test, test. And that, let's get two. And here we go, let's choose PayPal. So now we see our message and now watch what happens when I click submit. We're gonna get redirected to PayPal. And there we have it. Here's our sample information, our sample uh, products here, and of course, if we had chosen credit card, um, it would have forced me to enter the credit card information on that form. So that's how you configure one form with multiple payment feeds. If you've been struggling with Gravity Forms, the Learn Gravity Forms course is filled with over 25 easy to learn lessons. Within the next two hours, you can be a master of Gravity Forms. Simply visit learngforms.com right now.